And now, your first alert five weather. Well, happy finally Friday. It's a very snowy Friday for us. We're on weather alert at News 5 as we track a winter storm that we've been talking about all week now making its way through southern Colorado. You can see it here on our Woodland Park sky cam. Temperatures at 22 degrees along US 24 resulting in snow covered roadways. If you're on US 24 right now, it's going to take you extra time both because of that snow and an accident between the Springs and Woodland Park resulting in a one lane road. Now we do have winter weather advisories and winter storm warnings in effect for the I-25 corridor mainly due to the slick road conditions this storm is creating. The purple areas you see here along the corridor will be in effect until 11 p.m. tonight. This winter storm warning, this pink area you see here, is for northern El Paso County and includes the Palmer Divide. That'll be in effect until tomorrow at 5 a.m. Generally speaking, travel is not advised in that winter storm warning area, so if you don't have to go over the Palmer Divide tonight, don't. If it's optional, stay home, have a cup of hot chocolate, sit by the fire. It's a nice evening to look outside at the snow, just not driving it. Speaking of those road conditions, let's take a look right now. Roads are generally wet in the springs. However, as we head north towards the Palmer Divide, you can see these blues and purples. Those are slippery spots on the roads and pretty much the entirety of US 24 from Manitou Springs all the way out to Florissant and heading further west is also snow covered as well as you just saw. As we look towards the eastern plains, generally roads are still wet because the temperatures have been a little bit warmer for you. That will change for all of us as we head later on into the east. Evening. Along Monument Hill right now, traffic still looks like it's doing pretty well, but overall, again, there are a few slick spots if you're heading out right now. Taking a look at radar, we can see a few of these heavy snow showers, very patchy in nature, across the I-25 corridor, and this is because our energy for this storm is right along the mountains, and the wind is blowing it to the east. So we're seeing these very patchy hit or miss showers, very similar to a summer thunderstorm. In fact, you might even hear a rumble of thunder in the next hour or so along the, uh, so watch, along the Front Range corridor. But as we look towards the eastern plains again we're still tracking rain showers for you right now again temperatures a little bit warmer now taking a look at futurecast to time out the rest of the system we've got a cold front sitting off to our north that cold front is dividing the wet air from the dry air once it passes through that is when we will see generally an end to accumulating snow across the area so for the next couple of hours along the i-25 corridor it's going to continue to be slick uh, snow is going to continue to fall heavy at times mainly right along the i-25 corridor as you can see here won't be snowing all the time as you've probably already experienced today but when it is snowing, conditions will be very slick and visibilities will be very reduced. As we head towards the later parts of the evening around 11 p.m., that's when the front's going to approach El Paso County and the springs. That's going to start to bring snow towards an end, but it's a very slow moving front, as you can see. So it's really around 3.30 a.m. That's when I've drawn it going through the springs that we really see the end to accumulating snow across the area. We'll keep clouds and snow showers into Saturday morning, which will also be fairly cold for you. So bundle up if you've got plans tomorrow morning. Also plan on it being very slippery out. Now I've upped our snow totals a bit based on the latest data, a little bit more moisture coming in as well as some better data from our higher res model guidance. So I've got us at three to six inches in the springs, five to nine in Monument and six to 10 in Woodland Park. As far as our details are concerned, again, snow is going to end early to early in the morning with mountain snow showers remaining tomorrow morning. Current temperatures in the 30s for us right at freezing in the springs. A very cold night down to 20 in the springs, 21 in Pueblo and back up tomorrow into the low 30s. So a cold day tomorrow as we take a look at our super seven day forecast gets really cold Saturday night all the way down to nine degrees, not factoring in the wind chill Saturday night. You're going to need to bundle up in as many layers as you have. As we head towards Sunday, we dry it out, warm it up. It's a very nice several days tracking our next weather maker on Wednesday in Pueblo. Similar story, less snow as you just saw. So you've got that impact scale one out of five. And then from Sunday to Tuesday, it's nice. Sunday, I think, is the pick of the week. Nice weather, sunny skies, and very comfortable conditions. Next weather maker for you also on Wednesday. Canyon City, 37 tomorrow. Bundle up, 18 for your lows. Wind chills will make it feel like the single digits early Sunday morning, but a big time warm up Sunday into the low 50s and very nice weather heading through the week till Wednesday when we track that next system. I think it'll be lighter than our current system, but still some snow showers possible there. Woodland Park, you are the lucky recipient as usual of the most snow, as you can see. So in the morning, you should expect snow covered roads, very cold conditions. But then again, we will see very seasonable, very nice weather Sunday to Tuesday to get outside. So if you got plans that need to get postponed, Sunday to Tuesday is when you can reschedule them for. Rob? Casey, thank